Hello, I'm Aeos and welcome back to Pacific Drive. I've been itching to get back to this one. Unfortunately, this is an exploration video, so we'll see what there is to see. If there's nothing, we'll move right on to the next mission. Back roads, damp forest, out of zone. Great. Uh, perpetual stability. Wonderful. That's exactly what I love most. Where are we? We're coming in from down here. Our first marker will be this up here. What is this? What is that? I, I, I mean... We're going to check that out. I have no idea what that is. I will be stopping to get materials because this is hey, exploration. Oh. Sorry about all that mess with Oppie. Uh-huh. Th th there's no question. Oppie is a, is a, a once-in-a-generation genius. I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. That That is a good point. Uh, her last chance, as she said. But, yeah, Oppie... Oppie's hiding something. We know that. Oppie's hiding something. Um, I think her loss of her husband weighed on her more than anything. Husband, was it? I believe it was husband. And... She just sort of went into a downward spiral. She's still as brilliant, but uh, she may be a little bit more desperate than she was. Speaking of Oppie, you're not gonna like this, Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. What? Look, it's not that I doubt our abilities, but no one knows the zone like that old man. You heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. What? Right. No, no, no. She'll come around to our jobs. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. You're being as stubborn as she is, and... What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind. To write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. So there's more there this than the like CI. What's going on, Francis? Yeah. Is there something I should know? Yeah. No. All your work in limb R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life, you sacrificed it all Hey, look, for look Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Thank you. With a black hole in your resume, where you can't tell anyone what you did, you couldn't even tell people where you wiped Big your hands for 10 years. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. Th 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 that's not... Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder how much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends. Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go. <sighs> Bigfoot. We got Bigfoot. I know he's saying very important things that should be... Oh, hello. Tourists. Uh, I know he's saying very important things uh, that is um, very pertinent to what's going on on the mission that we are kind of circumventing because I'm opening up more routes and I was mostly out here for more energy and a few materials were a little low on. But yeah, very important, very great. And we got Bigfoot. That is so cool. <laughs> oh. Yes, Arda sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Need TP? Trade for food! <laughs> well, there's a COVID era thing. Oh, wriggling wreck. That's uh, neither here nor there. Um, I don't want to get any closer to it. It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. It's a monster. 
This place is learning how to ambush us. You know what that means? It means it doesn't want us here. This place doesn't want us here. A wholeness, a whole ass part of the world is rejecting us, trying to get rid of us, trying to push us out. Think about that for a moment. That's horrific. This thing was like some kind of wicked new wildlife, ready to spring at us, but only us. Except, you know what? It's not like wildlife. You ever notice how these anomalies don't attack one another? When have you ever seen them fight? Wildlife is an ecosystem, infinite parts responding to one another. The anomalies? Listen to me. That's the zone uniting against us. I need to read some of these. I might turn that. I might turn the uh, episode into reading everything here. Maybe just uh, I'll do uh, do a little bit of that in the future. We'll we'll do like four or five of them at, at a time. For now, I'm just back to collecting materials. Also, Bigfoot! That was so cool! I know, I know. I'm overexcited about something that was basically just an image of something. That was Bigfoot! <laughs> if I had known that it would, we've had all this stuff happening in an exploration video, opening up another route that means absolutely nothing, I would have done a more exciting intro. Cool. I just figured out how to use the arc dock and what it costs. Sorry. No big deal. Uh, the button. That's the button. We got headlights. Yay! It's nighttime again. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. It's it's late evening. Cool. I'm liking the game a lot more now that I. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Um, getting out of the area before I continue the I like the game because I'm getting used to the anomalies situation. Oh, hey! A battery charge repair shop. Repair shop? Yeah, sure. You know what? We'll, we'll go right on through there. Do I, do I need it? Oh. I don't need it at the moment. So we're not in a storm. Ugh, we are in a storm. We're not in a classic storm. We're right up here. But... This is one heck of a storm. There's thunder and lightning and all kinds of stuff. It's just natural, ooh, lovely. Uh, environment. Oh, an abductor. That's, that's great. Go ahead and drag me somewhere. I don't care at this point. I am heading towards my marker. Uh, anyway, we do have something in, to investigate. Oh, hey, it's right here. Really? Oh, it is. Oh, all right then. That's awesome! I, I didn't think we were so close. Hang on. I don't want that. Uh, about to be electrocuted with the cargo. Here's the car. What? No... No Minutemen? There's always Minutemen nowadays. What? Okay, yeah, we're, we're heading out. Everything's good. Um, we we are going to do now is head to this mysterious symbol here that I have no idea what means. At all. What is that? Let me know if anyone sees a, uh, some of that, was it pulse energy? No, it's, um, you know what, it's been a long time. The electrical glowy that's, uh, often at those towers that try to kill us. Yeah, we need some more of that. Not the kill us part, but the electrical glue. What is this? What is this ahead of me? What is going on here? Yeah, I just ran over something. I'm sorry, alright? Yes, I gotta patch you up a little. What, what be this? Is this what I'm looking at? Yeah, this is what's on the, on the map. Hang on. This is whatever it is that that symbol means, I think. Yeah, this is our this is our marker right here. Huh. Well, before I go anywhere, let me patch up real quick. Fragile, fix none. Oh no. This won't last much longer. Even the toughest components cannot be repaired indefinitely. Sometimes things just go old. They wear out. Oh. 
Oh no. Well, I can make another one. I'm just disappointed because it has all those extra bonuses and stuff there. But cool. I will I will definitely do that. Okay, we're all patched up more or less. Uh I'll check inside here. No. The car's still good. Yeah, the lights are on, I'm okay with this. I wanna know what this is. This is the marker, this is something mysterious audio recording. Zone receiver. Okay everyone, the new receiver designs are ready, and I promise these ones won't be so edible. I'm being quite serious here, folks. Last year's rash of signal-hungry anomalies, the ones that would chow down on anything broadcasting across lower bands, absolutely tanked our comms budget and cut hundreds of us off from the outside world. The alloys we're using now, combined with the new standard frequencies, mean nothing's going to be chewing up a broadcast anymore. Now let's get these deployed as soon as possible and make sh sure each has a recording cache fitted. And get those parts welded on tight. I'm not letting another one of these fall into the hands of that self-proclaimed guerrilla radio group. Who knows what kind of nonsense signals they're picking up from outside the world. From the outside world. Or even worse, beaming out. It's on all our heads if that happens again. Cool. This is found in everything that we've discovered so far. The mires, the blistering woods, and the damp forest. Uh log is not recommended tool hands just here maybe frequency file one play play Still going on? Cool. Cool music, at least. Is that it? I think that's it. The oh. year is 1955. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous. A lightning bolt frozen mid-strike, and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. Yeah, sounds Dr. awesome. Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture, but she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of Lynn technology, they called her. The Angel of a New Age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Okay. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blink and miss and promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of limb technology disappear. Okay, so... Then Lim was just everywhere. It wasn't just something hidden. It was taken from uh, the people and brought uh, here to be researched. Oh, this just heals us. Oh, I thought it, I thought it recharged our battery. I, I guess there are more than one type of these things. Structure, yeah, sure. It's a repair stop. I wouldn't have wasted all that time repairing had I known that what this this that that this was different than the other one and that their functions were not the same. All right, I learned something new. That's great. There's a lot of this left too. Cool. Well, that was really interesting. Also, it kind of points the bad guys out to be Arda, even more so. 
I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna open up the gateway and hopefully we don't lose it or anything. Cool. Yeah, I get it. Drive, drive, drive. Danger, danger, danger. Can we bring a bunny back with us? I don't know. I hope not. Gotta head in this direction. I'm sorry. I need this. I need this. I need this. I got a storm coming in. The press coverage of Lim technology is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at first. Cool. In the decade between 1955 to 1965, Lim is called many things. Promise of the future, the herald of a new age. Cool. And never spoken of again. Yep, yep. You don't have to dig very deep for the gaps in the story to emerge. The presidential demonstration is the only physical proof we ever see of it. Compared to the Manhattan Project, developed under an airtight shroud of secrecy, why was mm. the one to around in the papers? And if it really was the technological problem that answer all our wildest dreams, why did it blink out of existence? Because something weird either happened with it or proprietary and they shut it down because they thought they could make a lot of money out of it. Zarda, what do you expect? You gonna keep on going or is there... No. We've got five stable energy out of that. Well, that's oh, decent. Ho, 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 ho. You're seeing these ratings, Francis? Gateway Oak was like blah, 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 and the car goes pow! Sends us go blah, 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 blah. The Shittlesphere, the Shittlesphere, oh, it's my favorite part. Yeah, but... Okay, then. At least he's having fun. That's what I'm going to go with. At least he's having fun. Our fate, our lives are in his hands. At least he's having fun. I don't know if the fax machine uh, can handle the audio records or not. I don't know where to put them, but we we have this incessant beeping, so we're going to read some faxes. If you're looking for a sign to push on through the adversity, this is it. What? Why is that slightly disturbing? I mean, one, there's no period here, so it, it's, it's like something was missing. And then two, that's the sign. Is that from us in the future? Okay. Uh, can we... Yeah, we can. We, we're going to transfer the frequency ones. Or, or frequency, yeah. Is that what they are? Frequency files? We're going to transfer them over here. That's great. Okay, that one is definitely a recharge station. Cool. And then trains of some kind. So we'll take a look at that too. Do I want materials? I kind of want materials because I am going to have to rebuild a bunch of things. They're starting to break down. Why is this place all lit up? Why do you still have power? This is this is unusual. Okay. I, I am a little concerned. There's nothing here. I mean, I got materials from the other section. Why is there power here? I mean, I, I, it's cool, and I appreciate that there's power here, but... New things put me on edge. Let's go investigate this new thing. Uh, there is that weird structure right there, very square, very weirdly shaped. I don't know what that is, so let's go find out what it is. Where'd I park? So, hopefully it's not some place that we've been before and I'm just a complete idiot, but, uh, you know, it's a type of building. It, it is kind of randomized and all that, but I don't remember doing anything with a building like this. I don't want to go down that far. I mean, I got other places to go in this zone. Can we park right here? Don't go anywhere. There is 
something leading up here, and then there's just this. What is this weird building? It's a lookout tower or something. There's there's stuff up top, so can we not go in? We can't even s excuse me, trees. We can't even scan it. I mean, it may be just, you know, nothing. Yeah, sure, hot dust. I'll, I'll deal with that. Maybe just nothing, but it stands out. Big old straight line structure of concrete in the middle of a forest. Yeah, it stands out. Now, maybe we, we just can't go into it. Well, that sucks. I thought it was something unique and special. Probably is, and I just don't know anything about it. it happens. So now we're just going to open up our way back because I've explored and thoroughly, fairly thoroughly, in fact, ooh, wow, took care of absolutely everything that we had going. And so there we go. Open up the way back, and this was a nice little easy level one area I had yet to clear. Like seriously, this is directly from Oppie's garage. There was almost nothing happening. I loved it though because there was almost nothing happening. And I got a ton of plasma. Yep, oh, careful. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to damage the car too much. That's probably just purple paint there. I still don't know what those buildings are. They look like they're special, but they're not. I, I know we should probably hurry, yeah. Mm, I was hoping for one of those uh, payloads, the ships from space, but I'm not seeing one. Oh well. It is a level 1 area when KLM, so it probably doesn't happen yet. Minor repairs, minor stock, one quick trip. Actually, it was a very long trip for that one. That was almost an hour in one zone. Whoops. <laughs> I was having fun. I'm a collector. I must collect it all. Oh, that gateway is so damn cool. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I will agree with that, especially the number of times it saved our hides. <laughs> Okay, just so it will stop beeping, I've got another little fax thing to go through. You hear about what they found on the moon? No, yeah, they, they don't want you to hear about it. They found me! <laughs> okay. I mean, sure, that one felt, felt a little phoned in. Vehicle health empty. What do you mean by that? Anomalous clouds. What is this one? Unpredictable weather patterns in this part of the zone mean more cloud-related hazards will manifest at ground level. Okay, I can deal with that. Ooh, we got one of those too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm on a limited time. Uh, and we gotta exit there for the next thing. So we'll head up, grab that, and go. I mean, I do want more plasma, but that is a long way up. How do I get up there? You, mine. Uh, yeah, play it. Welcome back. This is Frequency File, Episode 2. Great. In the last episode, I told you about the curious case of Dr. Ophelia Turner. When it comes to this enigmatic individual, one of three versions is true. Myth, martyr, or monster. What was that? To be able to weigh her in turns Spoiler? as heretic, okay. genius, or scapegoat, we must first set the stage. When I started down this path to discover who she was, what she did, and ultimately what happened to her, I didn't expect it to lead me to one of the strangest mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, the Olympic Exclusion Zone. How but exactly are you still able to report on this? State, there are 3,600 square miles of vibrant wilderness called the Olympic Peninsula. Bounded by water on three sides, it was a wonderland for outdoorsy types, with snow-capped mountains and salmon-bearing rivers and pristine rainforests. Up until 1955, it was the residence of 100,000 people, including right. Ophelia Turner. 
It was her birthplace, her hometown. Would you and hold on? It turns out, Ground Zero and Sacrificial Lamb for the promise of the technology. In true fashion, the government never comes out and says that's what led to the creation of the Olympic Ugh. Exclusion Zone. Dude, I am literally dying here. Could you sight. hold on? Strange accidents leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent there. seizure of the peninsula. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It would help if you stayed and still. An abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. What was that because about? It turns out, even with the government's resources at your disposal, keeping secrets is a tricky business. You can bet there was plenty of talk as a result. Lucky me. Because I had plenty of questions. You. Get away from him. I am I am sick and tired of dealing with this. It's fine. It's fine. You stay there. You're in trouble as much as they are. Where's my door? I don't know if it's a, a child or a pet or what, but this car is in trouble, okay? It broke things, it wasn't listening. If it just let me work, it would have been fine, but no. Thank you. You left everything on, oh. We're going here. We're going there, and I don't know what that is. Maybe it's something important, but we're getting out of this zone, all right? I, I was not aiming on being here. I was not aiming about any of this. I parked you someplace I really, really thought was the best place for you. How do we get where, where anything is? How do you get up here? We were on the other side of the flipping mountain. How did you get over here? You know what? You can stay hurt for a little while till you think about what you did. I am very mad at our friendly car. He wasn't listening. He caused a bunch of problems. And I'm out of materials now because he didn't listen. I can't repair it. I can't. It is what it is. I mean, he went off on his own and wasn't staying where I put him. And, and that's just the problem. It's a... It's a He's a bad boy, and the car needs to understand there are consequences to actions. You need a leash. Okay, maybe shooting the tourist was not a good idea. Oh. You get thermal sap crystals for shooting the tourists because they have... Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm learning new things all the time. I appreciate that. I also need to get the heck out of here because the storm is coming. Okay, I can relax. I, our exit is in sight. Actually, I want to try something. Let's say... Yeah, it took a lot of energy really fast. But since we're just leaving one zone to another, I think I can just sit here for a second and restore a battery. Cool, new zone. And what's the new stuff here? I, I, I came here to open the place up. The Warrens, that's right. What is the Warrens? Bunny anomalies run rampant in this part of the zone. That sucks. Because some of them are good and... Most of them are bad. Sure, you stay right there. I am going to heal you up, and hopefully you behave better in this zone than you did in the last. Nah, just you, me, and Francis. Peaceful, ain't it? Yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm so crazy. Yeah. And we know Bigfoot exists, so yeah, it's going good. Unlock quite a few things at the fabrication station. Yeah, that was, I think, the last thing we could unlock with uh, stable en energy alone. Alright, dumpster. Tree candy? What? What's tree candy? 
tree candy. It's cold but juicy. It says Oppie's notes that that's a description that's both profoundly uncomfortable and yet utterly impossible to hear. <sighs> Another fax machine. Newsflash Seattle, August 17th, 1969. Air quality continues to suffer today as a result of ongoing forest fires raging throughout the Olympic Peninsula. Despite growing concerns from state officials, Arda refused to grant firefighters access to the... to the... to... Straight ahead, whatever this is, straight ahead. Ooh, that looking, looks like it's in decent condition. Oh, I haven't scanned this? Honeypot. It literally launched out flares at me? Sure. Dude, you're kind of okay. And another one. Here's what we know. Over 50 years ago, in November of 1946, Dr. Ophelia Turner was 27. She had recently returned home to the Olympic Peninsula to lick her wounds after a failed stint in academia. In a fit of obsession or redemption, or quite frankly, both, she cobbled together a laboratory in her basement and produced the first limb wave on nothing but a killer hunch and plain ingenuity. Absolute genius. Or so the story goes. Oh, cool. It's never clearly stated anywhere anyway. what limb waves and limb technology really were. It's all vague claims and wild theories. Dreams that border more on the mystical than the scientific. What we do know is that limb stood for unlimited frequency. Really? Radio waves, once souped up and modulated just right, supposedly enabled the control of matter in a way that modern science both back then and now could only dream of. After Dr. Turner's discovery, okay, I, I like that. Scientists and PhDs all toyed with limb in their garage labs for about four years. The local police and fire departments start making regular house calls, <laughs> spurred on by increasingly disgruntled neighbors calling in about incidents that seem to grow larger and more disturbing as the years go on. After one too many reports, the federal government takes notice and thus begins their severe hmm. interest in limb technology. The next part happens quickly. In 1955, the United States government seizes not only the physical area where Dr. Turner and her scientists live, but the entire concept of limb technology. The area is at first evacuated it under sucks. the pretense of safety, but quickly commandeered by the government. They establish a brand new department called ARDA, Advanced Resonance Development Authority, which was to so be it's not a company, it's a government the next 15 years, department. The government expands the zone's borders. They clear out civilians as they go and erect massive 500 meter walls to keep out an increasingly curious public. The zone started in the northernmost tip of the peninsula, then expanded outward twice. Once in 1961, again in 1967, to the outer perimeter we see now. Well, at least it hasn't expanded since then, right? Right? I want to find the road. Find the road. Um, there you go, just a little bit farther. Uh, I'm on my way out. Yes, that's right. I'm on my way out. Uh, I should refill the gas. Ow. And we're just gonna go up here to this one. Ooh, alright. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's, it's just the color of destruction. <laughs> Uh, we'll go around the jump. The jump seems to be a bit harsh on the car. It's a precious car. Uh, we're... Ooh, this is... That's turning in. Uh, the, the red's coming a lot faster than I would have liked. I need that new engine. You know, the one that gives me some horsepower. Because we are having to get pretty far away from these... These gates. And I don't like the current situation because I don't know why I don't have any speed.
Okay, the gate's right there. I, I bet. I was panicking for a moment. Before I continue unpacking and doing everything, another fax machine! The news flash, Seattle, January 29th, 1968. Today sees the opening of a landmark class action lawsuit by government employees who allege that the state of Washington knowingly sent them to perform what they are describing as profoundly dangerous and extremely unhealthy duties that have resulted in long term illness. 1 1 PO. Yeah, okay. Uh, fragmented message, I guess. Cool. We have a lot of those to read, but we'll do that in one of the big official episodes. This is this is exploration. Visit the friendly dumpster. I think that's the best bet. Puncture-proof tire. Another one. But you gave me so. Uh, that's so awesome. Puncture proof tires. Essential. He's labeled it as essential. Puncture proof ty tires are essential. I love it. Oh, it is recording. Well, my shortcut kids nearly deleted the thing, so yeah. Uh, I should double check this, but you know, I have no way of doing that. So we'll do it like this, and then we'll see if there's audio where it needs to be. Okay. Oh, I have no idea where we were. The ball. The ball knows all. What were we doing? I have no idea what we we're doing. No, oh, are you going? Ah. Oh. Again? We're heading out for the last uh, bit of this exploration. Basically, we're going to go and go to a mid zone area. Not the the mission one, but just we're going to open something up in the mid zone. First, this thing's beeping again. This must be where pies go when they die. <laughs> okay. Cool. I just realized I never made sure that I actually emptied the vehicle. Whoops. Wow, it is a bright and wonderful morning here. Manual zone shifts? What, what, now? What, now? Climate within the zone can shift dramatically with little warning. You may find yourself beset by sudden unpredictable changes that can be turned into simple trip into deadly drives. Oh. Oh no. I, I thought it was... What, what? But it's perpetual stability. What, what's go? I'm after abandoned squires because I've got the Liberator, which I didn't really understand what it did. It takes off complete components. So I'm after those armored pieces. And we're on our way to the, the mid-zone that I talked about. We're going to do that one last little bit for this exploration video. And I don't know what what's this is all about, so I really should have looked rather than talk. Uh, no, I want the route map, because if the zone conditions have changed... No, it says perpetual stability. Um, okay. I'm going to go with it, and we're just going to keep an eye out for faxes. Yes, I love them. And uh, we'll pick, keep an eye out for uh, abandoned squires and art investigators. My mind blinked, and I have no idea why. Trying to explain a train of thought, that would be why. <laughs> Where are we going? We don't need rails. These thoughts are completely off the rails. We have no idea what's going on. Oh, hey, cool. Thank you. I really don't know why I'm doing this, other than I find it very pleasing 
It, it's very satisfying to break everything apart. It really is. So, this, the light, I believe, is on still because the uh, thing outside is still active, the plasma generator. The other zone, I was harvesting plasma. I took all the plasma I could find. I have no idea why the other one was on. It bugs me, and I love it. It's a stupid cosmetic thing for an environment, but because it stood out, it just... I'm remembering every bit of it. By the way, I'm recording this uh, probably three weeks after the last time, after the last bit of the episode, after the beginning bits. <laughs> so I have no idea what I was doing, but I remember that uh, very, very clearly. How the heck do we get out of here? There. We have no need of you. I am so sorry. Goodbye. Cool. Where are you? I have no idea. This does not seem like the Olympic Peninsula I know. Uh, I can go get that real quick. There's supposed to be abductors here too. Also, where the heck are the squires? Yeah, you're, you're gonna have a few ouchies I'll have to, to buff out. Hey, look, tourists. No, no, park. I, I saw you trying to get, creep your way forward there. You move ever so slightly. I saw that. I saw it again. <laughs> Actually, I have an idea here. Uh, actually, two ideas. One, let's see if this happens. There we go. Oh, I'll light it. And I found out you can toss these and they explode with that. Look at there. That's great. Hi, guys. Oh, one thing. No? Oh, I can I can pick this one up again? Sure. And we'll aim there. <laughs> I love it. Oh I, I'm no longer terrified by them. They are now targets. And I love it. I got a ton of flares. Oh, there's more! Hang on! I should just go pick up these flares rather than Oh no, I got a ton of flares. It doesn't matter. Cool. Uh, we'll put that away. I don't know that we actually need to pick up all this, but I'm going to. They are trophies. Abandoned Squire! Oh, we got one. Great. I want to see what parts we can get off of it after we pull the plugs and everything. Is it? Maybe there's more over there? No, that's just the standard pile. Ooh, that is an investigator, though. This is the right place to be. Yes. Big Dan's. Come on down to Big Dan's. We got what you need. Whether it be bait or spare parts armored. I missed you. I'm so sorry. I, I really want to, to just... You know what? I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. You're going to have to survive. I got other things to do. And I can't just be here torturing tourists. That's what taxes are for. Uh, you know what? We're all gonna be a little hurdy here, but that's okay. Not really, but... I don't know what to do. Oh, and hey, look! We got all the anomalies all of a sudden. That's great! Uh, I would like that, please. Uh, I am going to get out of this area. And I'm going to heal up. Whoop. And then we'll get back to it. I'm sure the car is okay. That's okay. I'm okay with you doing that. Here. Bunny go bye-bye. That works. <laughs> okay. So... I'm going to have to repair the car a little tiny bit. It, we had a little bit of an adventure. Not too much. Actually, not bad at all. Hmm. We'll repair it later. But I do need the door. I do need a door. 
Where did the door go? These things keep stealing my blasted door. I just saw the door. I literally... I Oh, it's right there. Okay, it's detailed. It's insulated. We're not losing this door. What is the red light up there? Hmm. I'll look at that. I'll look into that. So, I turned on streamer mode so we can listen to music now. Not the music that's playing, because I'm not sure that it's really jiving with me, but uh, we'll definitely find something. Oh, there's not much gas here. More than we need, but still. Alright. Should we deal with this? Well, we're going to deal with this first. Uh, liberator. Okay, this, supposedly, the Liberator can remove entire pieces... And I think the armored panel is just on the front. Ooh! Okay. I think it's just one shot and I need to be very careful. I think that also hurt me. Ooh! Okay. I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Things hurt. <laughs> that there for now. Um, I should also heal... And is there any other... There's an armored door. Alright, yeah, it's just one. Ooh. Ooh. I, I think I overused it. No. Uh, might be a problem. But... But this is, this is going well for us. I don't have any energy here. I heard the rabbit struggling before she saw it. Scream loud. I don't know what that was. Um, I don't know what that was. <laughs> the radio was on and for some reason it just picked up a weird unknown transmission and I'm not sure if I like the radio being on. <laughs> They weren't using it. Liberate and equip apart from a car. Yes. Come on. We can do it. Yeah, here we go. This is one we need. Another tower, huh? Well, I don't really want another tower. Let's listen to this one. Uh, nope. Nope. Don't do that. After the there. multi-stage evacuation of the Olympic Peninsula's 100,000 strong population, the records get sketchy. Once the region is swept clean of civilian eyes, the flow of information trickles to an eventual stop. Thank you. Arda has always maintained that the evacuation was done in the name of national security. That there was simply nothing more patriotic than sacrificing your homes, with the communists plotting our demise across the Atlantic. Certainly not because there was any danger from the strange experiments happening inside, or situations most unnatural oh, to witness. Arda kept the wide berth 
placing citizens far ahead of the front line, so first-hand accounts of things going awry were rare. But rumors spread fast, and everyone had some story about a distant relative whose pet changed in inexplicable ways, or a friend of a friend who followed strange lights into the woods and never returned. I like. Once the civilians cleared out, the Arnett employees moved in. Scientists, officials, support okay. staff, and their families made the Olympic Exclusion Zone home, reaching anywhere from 300 to 1,000 in total at its peak. What any of them were doing in the zone was kept hush hush. Straight down. The population just yeah, outside the walls found the secrecy irresistible. Every shipment of raw material, out of season weather patterns, and inexplicable light or sound became the talk of the town for the out first season of weather. The zone's existence. Ooh. Yeah, I'm experiencing that a lot here. Do I have extra time? I might have some extra time. Sure. You're gonna stay running though. This is obviously a quirk, and it sucks. Back roads, remote, the Myers. Oh, look at that storm. Where are we? We are coming in from the south. The storm is probably going to be... Alright. Stream conditions, corrosive downpours. Right. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Uh... Uh-oh. I wanted to look up what that meant. There we go, corrosive downpours. Corrosive squalls are much more common in this part of the zone. Oh. So, we might be in trouble. Great! Wonderful. Let's get a move on then. Uh, we're gonna collect unstable energy here. Also, there's abandoned squires and art investigators here. We're going to keep a lookout for that. And then, because it's a mid-zone, we're going to keep a lookout for our uh, necessary components that we don't have enough of, which is pretty much everything. Next anchor point, please. There's one right near me, and I don't know where. It's in this general direction. Where? Sort of behind me, huh? Well, if that's the case, you wait right there for now. Oh, right there, way up. Oh, cross of squall. Uh oh. I, I tried to open up the menu, it didn't work. So, here. No. Flat. Tunnels, frequency files. Here we go. And not, it's an anomaly. For many, acid rain has been an environmental hazard for years, but for those within the zone, it's an outright existential threat, arriving with little warning and incredible, almost supernatural intensity. I would say that that's very much supernatural intensity there. That's pretty disgusting. Uh, so, we're gonna. Oh. We are having issues. So I think uh, the tire's flat as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think in the future... Oh, look at the butterflies. I think in the future we're going to be avoiding this particular type of area. If at all possible. Is that, a, is that one of mine? Yeah, it is one of mine. He flat out stole one of the doors. Okay. Well then. There's the anchor. I have a replacement door. I don't think we're getting that door back. But I gotta be quick about it. And I need healing.
What am I doing? No, no, no. Don't fly me. I don't like this zone. <laughs> oh, I'm flying. Now if only I wasn't dying. Um, this is bad. This is very bad. This is very, very bad. I want inside. I want inside car. I want inside car. <laughs> car, help me. <laughs> oh, I found a tree. Um. That's, that's the radio I did not turn on. I don't know what happened. Oh. Oh, why why is everything going weird with this car? I did not turn that on, did I? No, that was the headlights. I definitely turned that did not turn it on. Okay, I can't see. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I would like to be out of this area, please. I don't know where I'm heading. I don't know what's going on other than this sucks. I mean, everything is getting massively damaged and I can't step outside as is. I am I'm going through all kinds of nasty. Can we get in under here by chance? Okay. I I need repair putty. I need one of these two. And I need that repair putty to actually repair things. To repair things. Full of holes. Full of holes. Okay, I need a ceiling kit for the hat. Badly. Low vehicle fuel. Oh, it's still running, isn't it? Everything's going wonderfully here. Absolutely wonderfully. I, I, I cannot stress how wonderful this is. <laughs> it's raining snot. Okay, fuel is terrible. Uh, at least the storm has almost passed us until the next one arrives in a few minutes. Uh, we gotta keep on going. I have patched up the car and patched up the car. This is disastrous. I had no idea that it would be this bad. These little things are very wonderful cover, but they're also very small and don't cover the whole car. Um, and that one back there was definitely in the ground to the point it's not gonna help at all. I gotta get north, I gotta go north. Let's go down to go north, right? Sure, I think there's, oh gross. Oh, it's raining snot. Oh. Yeah, and even slipping and sliding, we have absolutely no choice in what's going on. I think this is fantastic. Oh, let me out of this zone. Oh, the tire's got a flat uh, again. And that the panel's already damaged tremendously. Yeah, I see. I see. Bad things happening. I know. I am sorry. Bad things happen. I try find road. I find road. Things get a little tiny bit better because we can go a little tiny bit faster as soon as I get out and repair the tire. Okay, I'm getting to the swamp. We're getting going. You are more amphibious than I gave you credit for. Thank you for being a uh, bestie friend. Almost as good a friend as the dumpster. In fact, you're actually better than dumpster. I, I, you've given me things, whether I realize that or not. Um, I could hide in that building, but the car would be drastically damaged. Alright, so uh, sit, stay. I can't let you stay running. Uh, ceiling kit. Tire. Here. Cool. 
Uh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Numa tube. Nothing good. Okay, yeah, I'm hurting, everyone's hurting, everything's bad. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This was disastrous. Okay, uh, that should keep me going for a little bit. I need more. Heck. Get me going. Get me in. Uh, let me see. This goes. Okay, I'm I'm making my way out of this area as soon as possible. This is just destroying everything. What is that? Okay, yeah, bad things, bad things everywhere, I know, and I'm very not happy. Okay, we are out of the, out of the thing. No, yes, there. And you, and you, and this. And we can breathe for a moment, a very short moment. What is this? What is this thing that keeps destroying us a little bit? Shaggy Scrambler. Oh. Okay, well we found another weird, bad, terrible anomaly. Hey, we need those. We need all of this. There's probably a ton more around that I've missed, but we're going to find a zone with perpetual stability to harvest them. Use healing item. I don't... I can't. I can't, and I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to make it out of here this time. Oh, this is this is not going well. I need to get there. I don't care about anything else. Yeah, I'm sure that was great, whatever that was, but I really can't help you. Oh, we are in the red, I think. I think. No, maybe not. Oh, now we're in the red. Well, that was exciting. The eye of the storm escaped through the gateway after the storm has completely collapsed. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, oh, I need to relax. That was not a good run. Oh, that wasn't even like I'm panicking. That was just terrible. Oh, everything's broken and horrible. Oh, I'm broken and horrible. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. That was not worth it. Okay, then. I'm going to get this thing fixed up, and we'll do the mission just after this. So thank you for joining me in this uh, somewhat not very exciting, but very, very stressful ending to an exploration video. I was not expecting everything to go as wrong as it did, and after it did, I was just, whatever. It just whatever. I'm surprised we got out of there. I'm really happy we got out of there. <laughs> so next time, uh, we're going to go straight for the mission. Perpetual stability. And oh, I'll fix up the car somehow in between. Are we missing the hood? We're missing the hood. I'm going to make a new hood. So, okay, until next time, thank you all for joining me, and have fun, everyone. <laughs>